As a baker, it's as much fun to make muffins as it is to eat them, and my classic blueberry streusel muffins are always a hit. I start off making these muffins with the streusel topping, mmm, that sweet, crunchy bit that gets baked on top of the muffins. First ingredient, a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. And for a little sweetness, a quarter cup of brown sugar. It's that combination of flour and brown sugar together that makes the crunchy top, making it a streusel. In addition, I add just a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'll just give this a little mix with my fingers. And I've got three tablespoons of cold, unsalted butter. And I just work that in with my fingers. In my bakery days, we would make big batches of streusel because it keeps in the fridge forever. Then, whenever you make a batch of muffins or maybe some banana bread, you just sprinkle it right on top of anything to give it that crunchy top. I'll set the streusel aside so I can start on the muffin batter. I've got half a cup of unsalted butter that I've softened to room temperature, and I'll add to that a cup of granulated sugar. I love adding a little citrus flavor to my blueberry muffins, so I add about a teaspoon of lemon zest. Now I'm ready to add my eggs, two in total, but I add them one at a time. And the eggs are at room temperature as well. Now for the second egg. Now I'm ready to sift my dry ingredients. And it's important to sift them here so that you really do get that cakey consistency to your muffins. Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And two teaspoons of baking powder. I add a quarter teaspoon of salt, as well as a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg is a secret ingredient to a really good sour cream donut. In this sort of cakey style, mm, it almost reminds me of that. I'll add half of the flour mixture to my butter base. You just need to stir it until the flour is combined. Now for my milk, half a cup. And when I make this recipe, I use either one or two percent milk. Either works just fine. And then stir this in before I add the rest of the flour. Now the rest of the flour. There we go, that's a nice, fluffy-looking muffin batter. So I'm ready to add the blueberries. I do prefer using fresh blueberries, but if frozen is what's available to you, you can use it. Just use them right from the freezer so the color doesn't bleed throughout the muffin batter. Now I'm ready to fill my muffin cups. I'm making eight jumbo muffins so I can fit them in these cafe-style paper liners. Or the same recipe makes 12 regular muffins. I take care that I've got lots of blueberries in every muffin. When I was a kid, it was very important. I had to count how many blueberries were in my blueberry muffin. If I had a lot of blueberries, it was gonna be a good day. And we can't forget about that finishing touch, the streusel topping. A generous sprinkle on top, because as the muffin bakes up, it will expand and crack open around the streusel a little bit. So you want lots. And these are ready for the oven, which I've preheated to 375, and they take about 35 minutes. I test the doneness the same way. Piercing a skewer in the center when it comes out clean, the muffins are done.
Oh. I love how these muffins puff up when they bake. Yeah, done. You do want to let them cool completely before you enjoy them. So I'll set these aside. Here they are cooled. And you can see, I wasn't exaggerating, these are jumbo muffins. But you can see that streusel layer on top and you know it's crunchy, but yielding to that beautiful cakiness inside. Look at all those blueberries. I've got a lot of blueberries to count.